You know, I think there's a universal dislike of spiders. You know, there's a condition where people just hate spiders. It's called arachnophobia. But you know, spiders get a bad rap. Spiders are actually good to have around. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not going there, but I just want to say a few words for the spiders. They eat insects, they're great outside. Like you, I don't like them in my house. So here is a natural way to repel spiders. I'm telling you, this recipe is simple, doesn't take any time to create, it's effective, and like I said, it's all natural. Now what you're gonna use is the essential oil of a certain kind of plant or fruit. You can use orange extract, you can use citronella, Lavender oil is perfect. In this case, I'm using mint oil, and specifically peppermint in this case. Of course, there are all kinds of mints you can use. You can use peppermint, spearmint, and content mint, but we won't go there. Okay, the way you put this together is you just wanna take three cups of water in a spray bottle like this, and you wanna take as a surfactant, big word, but the effect is fantastic and very simple. Just take some dishwashing liquid, about a teaspoon of it, in three cups is all you need. What the surfactant does is it breaks down the beading of water. So if you spray something and you get all these little beads everywhere and it just sort of sits, if you put a surfactant like this dishwashing liquid in there, it'll cause the water to spread out and be even and sort of soak in. Now, the active ingredient here is the peppermint. And I'm using one tablespoon of peppermint in here. Ooh, it smells so good, but spiders don't like it. And then all I do is add this to the top, shake it, and I'm ready to start moving the spiders out. Now, why do spiders start gathering up in the house? There are a couple of things you should know. There are certain times of year when they're more active. You've probably noticed this. For instance, if it's been dry outside for a long time and we get a rain, the spiders start moving inside. In late summer and early fall, when nighttime temperatures begin to drop, the spiders start looking for a warmer place to live your house. And the other thing to keep in mind is you don't want any rotting fruit around. Why? Not because of the spiders, but rotting fruit attracts flies, like fruit flies. And guess what? Fruit flies are food for spiders, so it's important to understand the food chain. Now, the thing you want to realize is that this is actually a repellent. It doesn't kill the spiders, it just makes the environment uncomfortable for them and moves them on out. Most spiders are not going to hurt you. I know they may freak you out, but they're not going to hurt you. But there are some you need to be aware of like a black widow or a brown recluse, you wanna make sure that you do away with those or escort them out of the house. And hey, if Spider-Man shows up, don't spray him with this, he's a good guy. If you're enjoying these tips on how to improve your life, make sure you check in with us regularly and give this spider repellent a try. Let me know and subscribe to eHow Home. All right, watch out spiders. <laughs>